What is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the screen of a video bounce to the uh, base of a song. So it's actually really simple. We're going to be using keyframes. So here's a little video example and here's my second example. So we're going to hop right into the editor here and I'm just going to show you guys straight up. Um, this is what it looks like for this sequence. Uh, right here, um, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit just so you can hear because this really has to do with the music and if you can learn how to edit to um, match the music it's going to make your video 10 times better so keep that in mind it's not just the video and it's not just the audio it's a mix of the two how you can play off each other and um, how you can create something really good with the sound and the visual that you're seeing so I'm going to turn my volume up <clears throat> and as you can see here all right so right here this little sequence, I have a hi-hat, cut, just move one frame over, cut it out, move one frame over, cut it out, and then I just cut out every other um, thing. But this isn't what that tutorial is about, so if you want to see more on just kind of little um, video effects, easy stuff you can do in Premiere, go look at my video called um, How to Edit a Music Video. I'll link that on the screen now. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect right here, and I'm going to do it again just because it was pretty fast in the first two clips I showed you, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so right here. So, as you see... Um, the bass is going do do, and I'm matching the video um, bumping up like this. So I'll scrub over, and you'll see how the video gets bigger, and um, and then it goes back to getting smaller. So it's basically like a bass clap on the video, and it matches the so it matches it matches the song well, and it looks pretty cool. So I'll play that again. So those two little bumps right there. So before I show you how to actually do this, I'm just going to show you um, the effect controls of the video that I'm doing this. So you don't need any plugins, you don't need any crazy stuff, you don't need After Effects. All you do is I'm just going to show you, I'm going to click on this clip and all you do is go to your effect controls panel which should be in the top left here and then you just go to motion and then I'm just going to put in these three little keyframes from motion so that's all you have to do, it's just keyframing the scale of the video but you have to do it in a specific way where it's smooth and then it eases in and eases out so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so right here you can see this is where uh, it doesn't have to be a bass let me mention that also it's just any point in the video where you want it to be emphasized the levels are getting really high so to emphasize that like jump of audio I'm gonna put this jump of video in it like this I'm just gonna delete this so I'm just gonna start from scratch and you should be doing the same as well so now you have your raw clip just like that so this is what it looks like without the keyframes So as you can see he just walks out it's not any emphasis at all so first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on your clip you're gonna wanna come up to the effect controls panel right here <clears throat> and next you're gonna see all these little um, video effect drop down menus and for motion you're just gonna wanna click this little arrow right here okay so you're gonna see your position in a bunch of numbers um, and then these are your dimensions and you're gonna see your scale and then you're gonna see these little stopwatch things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this stopwatch and what that's doing is it's creating a keyframe so every time we move the video a little bit and we change something it's gonna count that as an animation it's gonna build towards that so that's kinda hard to explain so I'm just gonna show you and um, this kinda takes some getting used to whenever I was first learning about keyframes in Premiere I remember it was kind of difficult and I didn't really understand but once you really get the hang of it it's very 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 simple so if you don't get the hang of it at first just watch this video but anyways I'm gonna show you exactly what to do okay so I've set my starting position this is what I want the animation to start at this is what the this is the scale that I want it to be and I want it to grow so that it bumps so I'm gonna move over with my right arrow keys right there and I'm just gonna set this to 110 so I'm scaling it up just by 10 I'm going from 100 to 110 and then I'm actually gonna move that over to right here and then I'm gonna move over another I'm gonna move over another frame just by hitting the right arrow key and I'm just gonna set this back to 100 okay so let's press enter alright so as you can see here now I have three keyframes I have my starting 100 scale and then I have keyframe to my 110 scale and then back to 100 so let's see what that looks like so it's a little jittery you're gonna have to work with it a bit it's a little bit too fast of a bump so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna space these keyframes out a little bit like that give them a little bit of space just to work with it and that looks a little bit better but still it doesn't look as smooth it's still kind of like a sharp bump so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my keyframes and I'm gonna click on them and then right click on them and I'm gonna click ease in I'm gonna click on my middle one I'm gonna click ease in I'm going to click on my last one. I'm going to click ease out. So let's see what that does. So there you go. As you can see, it's very smooth motion. It's not just like a cut. It's like a grow and then it's like a 
and then it's like a grow and then it comes back down so it's like a bounce it's like a bass clap thing that i want you to take away from this video is that audio and video is so important when it comes to the flow of your music video or of your edit or whatever you're editing so keep that in mind you're not just editing video to put in cool effects it doesn't matter about the effects it matters about the effects work working with everything linking with everything and creating an awesome visual and an awesome cinematic experience so you kind of have to go into this with a filmmaker's aspect and film filmmakers thinking process anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh leave a like comment subscribe if you enjoyed um go check out my editing tutorial my playlist and all my other videos if you want to become a better editor and make better music videos and if you enjoy my content so thanks for watching i'll see you guys later